In this tutorial, we are going to practice calculating the mean absolute deviation for a given data set. What is mean absolute deviation? Mean absolute deviation is the average distance of all of the elements in a data set from the mean of the same data set. So basically, we are trying to figure out on average how far each piece of information or each piece of data in your data set is away from the average of your data set. Let's use this example to calculate the mean absolute deviation. The following data set represents the scores of 10 quizzes that a student took over the course of a semester. We are going to calculate the MAD or the mean absolute deviation of these 10 quiz scores. Step 1 will always be to find the mean of the given data set. To find the mean of any data set, you have to add up all of your elements together and divide it by the number of elements that you added together. The sum of our 10 elements is 790, and we divide that by 10 to figure out what the mean score is. We would say the mean score that this student had on their quizzes was 79. After you have figured out what the mean score of your data set is, you have to find the distance that each element in your data set is away from the mean if it were on a number line. So basically, you are going to subtract each element with the mean and use the absolute value because distance is always positive. So we have to subtract each element from our data set from the mean score of our data set. After you have subtracted each element in your data set from the mean of the data set, you have to remember to use the absolute values of each difference. For example, even though 55 minus 79 is negative 24, we would say that the distance between 55 and 79 on a number line is 24 regardless of the direction. So always make sure to express the difference of each element from the mean as a positive number. After finding the distance of each element from the mean of your data set, you have to find the mean of all of the values you had when subtracting, and this will give us the mean absolute deviation. So next we are going to add those 10 distances that we came up with and divide by 10 because we have 10 numbers that we added all together. The sum of those 10 distances away from the mean is 126. After dividing 126 by 10, that would give us a quotient of 12.6. Therefore, the mean absolute deviation is 12.6. We can say that the scores in the data set on average are a distance of 12.6 away from the mean of 79. The mean absolute deviation indicates how spread out your data set is. A large mean absolute deviation would indicate a data set that is more spread out in relation to the mean. A small mean absolute deviation would indicate a data set that is less spread out and located closer to the mean 